Hey guys, this is Jeremy from HockeyReviewHQ.com. Today we're doing a full review of the X Deviator. Not entirely sure why it's called the X Deviator, but hey, it's a cool name, so well, let's just go with it. Uh, this is a hockey training aid that is supposed to help you improve your stick handling, and you can use it on and off the ice. You might be a bit confused right now, but I'm just going to show you how it works. There's the X Deviator there. I'm just going to be using it on the hockey shooting pad. And uh, there's the X Passer, which is from the same company, and that name makes a bit more sense because it's a pass rebounder, a puck rebounder. Uh, I really like that product, so I have it set up here on the shooting pad and use it quite a bit. And I'm just going to do the full review of the X Deviator. I'm just going to pop this camera on a tripod. The idea behind the X Deviator is to give you something to stick handle around and under or over, uh, just to give you an obstacle while you're stick handling. So it's really cool, it stretches out like this, and you can sort of bend it and put it in any sort of pattern that you want. So you can have these all straight if you want and just practice going under, like stick handling under, or you can put them on an angle like sort of like a lightning bolt shape, or you know you can do like an L shape, or do like an oval. You get the idea. You can have it in any shape you want. Uh, it's a really cool idea, whereas there's another product out there and it's just solid, it's fixed, you can only have it straight. So I kind of like the idea of this already. Um, a little bit more and it's really easy to fold up as well so to transport it really simple you can just pick it up like that and it folds up pretty nicely really durable on uh, the video they showed someone stepping on it with a skate and it didn't break at all so you can see nice close up look there pretty durable plastic I think it's just HDPE which is what they make the boards at the hockey arenas out of so I'm going to show you it in use right now this is the first uh, design that I sort of came up with, it's just like an L shape and I have the pass rebounder right there, the X deviator, so just something fun to do. And also with the uh, top part there you can practice little toe drags going back and forth and the point is not to hit it like I did right there. Uh, this is actually my favorite way to set it up because I can practice with the puck in front of me and then to the side, uh, to the right side, in front again and then practice putting the puck underneath something and then also going straight across that wide movement and then also practicing with the green biscuit to the other side. So this is a great way to practice those wide, wide movements on your forehand and backhand and the quick movements on the forehand and backhand. And also I can do a big toe drag, so I like practicing that, you know, big toe drag all the way around. And So this is my favorite way to set it up. And then I also set it up like this, just a crazy little design that I did. I challenge myself and use my imagination. And the diamond at the top is a bit challenging to stick handle through. But yeah, just some uh, fun things to do and I'll just give my overall opinion now. That should give you a good idea of the X Deviator, what you can do with it and uh, you know, different drills that you can do and that sort of thing. I'm just going to talk about the price and uh, my overall thoughts. For the price, it's $129.95. It, yeah, it seems a bit expensive, but I guess for such a small market of hockey training aids, uh, the products tend to be a bit more expensive than you normally pay. Uh, so what it is, it's uh, HDP, I'm pretty sure, the, uh, the plastic that they use to build it, which is very durable. They also use it for the boards around hockey arenas, and they use it for hockey shooting pads as well. Uh, very durable. You can step on this with a skate, it won't break, which that's nice to see. Uh, so first I'll say what I don't like about it. Um, couldn't really think of anything big. I mean, the price, 130 it's a bit expensive. Very simple, very simple concept for training. But if you're looking for something to work on your stick handling and you want to add something to your room, uh, there's two products out there. There's this one, there's another one. Uh, I think I like this one better because this one you can uh, move it around, pick different angles. Uh, it gives you a bit more to work with as far as if you want to you know, come up with some crazy scenario to stick handle around, you can use this. Uh, the other one is just straight and solid, it's all fixed. So this one seems a bit easier to uh, pick up, move around, and uh, twist and turn, and, and sort of create your own stick handling, uh, uh, I guess, obstacles course. So I like that about it. Uh, the things that I do like, uh, just like I said, it's really easy to pick up, move around, nice and durable. Uh, it'll give players uh, the ability to sort of use their imagination more, so instead of just stick handling around a few pucks, you know, they can flip the puck over it, they can go under it, they toe drag around it, and they can always create their own little obstacle course and create their own patterns. So if you have a few kids or friends, you know, they might create little uh, games that you can do with different uh, patterns. So I definitely do like this. It's a cool concept. Um, yeah, if you're looking for something to stick handle around, uh, add to your training room. I like the X Deviator. So yeah, if you want to pick it up, head over to HockeyReviewHQ.com. you got links to where you can get it. And if you've ever used it, you want to drop a comment, tell, say what you like about it, what you don't like about it, head over to our blog or leave a uh, comment here in the comment section. Thanks a lot, guys. See you in the next video.